All right, we'll record it. I've got separate channels, it's fine. All right, we'll just go straight into it, innit? Why not? Let's go. Yo, what is going on? You are, you're shocked to hear me, innit? You guys are shocked to hear this voice, yeah? Because right now, what, what is going on? We are back. Another episode of the Kick Out Podcast. I got sound effects and all that. Let's do all that. I gotta go. We gotta go in, man. The sound. Yes. We are back. The Kick Out Podcast. My name is Ace. My name is Skillet. I'm Tay. That's right. Flu might join us, but we are back. We're. we're I, I know. Like I feel like every time we come back. We say we are going to give you content, like <laughs> consistent content. But I feel this now. I feel really ready to really make a go of this, guys. I uh, Me too, brother. I'm, I'm back all full in, bro. And I'm going to get some equipment soon. I'm going to do this on a regular basis. Let's go, people. Let's yeah, go. I don't, I don't want to start the show on a downer, but I'll be really honest, yeah? Lockdown one was very difficult for me. I found it hard. I found it really hard. But how did you guys find it? Um, yeah, uh, I actually, no, well, I'll tell you what, lockdown one, I, I had time to just kind of rest my body and reef and think a few things out, reevaluate myself, you know, self reflect. Um, but then it just became lockdown two, and then it became lockdown three, and then it became <laughs> lockdown four. And it's like, okay, this is not stopping anytime soon. So right. I feel like, if anything, I've kind of taken it a bit bad this time around. Oh, really? I'm me the opposite. Oh, what about you, Tay? Same. Like, the first one, I was like, yeah, cool. I'm ready for a rest, in it. Like, I've been, like, going, going, going nonstop. Yeah. So it gave me time to just, like, sit back a little bit. I was, I was still working, so I was still doing that at home. But it gave me time to just, like, just relax a little bit without going out and all that. And then lockdown two came. I was like, ah, ah, ah cool. I can do another rest, in it? <laughs> And then lockdown three, I'm like, no, like I'm done with this. Like, let me, let me be free. <laughs> I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm just like, look, I ain't letting this beat me now. Forget. Yeah. I'm not. Like, before I was like this, waiting for stuff to happen, and like we're gonna see what's gonna happen. And I think that the anxiety of, do you know what the hardest thing about lockdown one was was like not knowing when it was gonna end. I think if they said to us like, look, we're gonna be in this for a year, and in a year you're blessed. Go out and do your thing, yeah. I think knowing when the end date was going to be would have made me feel better. But because we even today, we still don't really know when this thing's going to end. But during that time, I was just like panicking. I just didn't know what was going on. What do I do? How do I move? But now I'm just like, my attitude is this is not going to beat me or defeat me. So we have to move and we have to maneuver and we have to give the people the content that they have been begging for. 100%, brother. 1 million percent. So I am 2021, happy. We are back, baby. Twenty twenty one, baby. Yeah. Um, before we talk wrestling, like, like, which is going to be interesting because I know that <laughs> I know that we all have very different opinions on what's going on in wrestling at the moment. Um, what other things have we caught in popular culture? There's been loads of stuff going on. Um, I feel like no. the last time we spoke, we spoke about Tiger King. That was that how long ago? <laughs> that was that long ago. That was ages ago. That's right. The last time we did a podcast. Tiger King was the talk of the town. I think we've, we've seen Jordan, the Jordan documentary since. Oh. Yeah. That was another great documentary of 2020. Um, right now, what's, I, mean, I guess, I mean, you know, One Division has just started. One Division. So we got, we're going to have a whole crazy year of Marvel content, new Marvel content coming onto Disney+. Plus. Uh, and I'm I'm not ashamed to say that um, Skillet had to explain One Division to me before we started this podcast. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it yet. Have you seen no, it? I haven't. I need to go. Is it on Disney Plus now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can watch uh, episode one and two, and I'm sure, like Ace, you're going to be very confused, baffled. But, but if you have any questions, I'm always here. Oh, me, me and my son sat down to watch it on Saturday, and we were just looking at each other like, "What is this?" <laughs> 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 My son's like, when do they start shooting? What is going yeah. on? Like, <laughs> I, can imagine, I can imagine for your son, your son yeah. must be like, what is like, this? What, like, we watched, we watched Mandalorian and we were gassed. Yeah. Then like, we're like, yeah, one division next week, dad. Yeah, cool. Sat down to watch it. We're just looking at each other like, what is going on? But, but I feel like the payoff is going to be amazing. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, yeah, Mandalorian, top marks to, to the Star Wars crew. Yeah. Big up to them. They did, did very, very well. I've been watching loads of like crime docs at the moment. Oh, that's my thing. 
Um, there's a lot what's of really the, quick. The quick... famous crime that is out right now. The, the stalker one. Have you seen that on Netflix? Is that the one about the LA stalker? Wow, LA? Night Stalker. Yeah, that there's some very crazy people out there. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, wait, have you watched the whole thing? I'm on episode three. Okay, I'm gonna get into that. Get into yes. That. Don't watch. I wouldn't watch it during. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't watch it ju- ju- at night on your own. It's one of them ones. It's nuts. <laughs> that's literally all. That's literally how I watch. Everything. Nah, that watch that during the day. But you know what? So I, I watched. Um, you watched the crack one on Netflix recently about crack. I haven't seen it, but I've got it on my list. Yeah, it's deep as well. Even that, like, I have to, I have to remember not to watch Black Trauma on my own as well at night yeah. because, like, you struggle to sleep after. What's it called? Crack. It's like crack conspiracies. It's just about the, it's about the crack cocaine yeah. epidemic in America yeah. in the eighties. Yeah, and yeah. Reaganomics and it's mad. And when and they, you when, know, when the they thing, go when they the streets. Sorry. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. And how how similar Reagan and Trump are. Like, right. Trump is literally... He is him. He's like reincarnated. <laughs> Ra- no, like- Reagan is Jordan and Trump is LeBron. 100%. Right. He's just a new school one, like, with on a different level. It's nuts. They're just, even Make America Great didn't come from... Make America Great Again didn't come from Trump. It came from Reagan. Right. That was his fl- slogan. It's mad. It's nuts. And Reagan, was, Reagan was an actor, though. It used to be a Western actor, a cowboy actor. Yeah, yeah. Would you guys think of the uh, the, the Capitol siege? Sorry, I sort of laugh. <laughs> Some people died, but oh, what is going? <laughs> <Wait. laughs> you know about that? This is this is this is the line that I say to all of all my friends when I say about that. This is why white privilege is dangerous yeah, <laughs> because you think that you could run up in there and nothing will happen to you. My like you walk in that- there like it was a museum tour. Like taking selfies, Mad. like nothing would happen to you. And now you're on no fly zone list, being like, oh my God, what's happened? Of course, you're a terrorist. You're yeah, a terrorist. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and like, you know, I don't want to speak ill of the, you know, I want to be respectful to that woman who lost her life. But I mean, I, like, I'm surprised it wasn't more casualties like that. Really? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. Taste t- spot on there. Um, but yeah, like, I wish Flu was here to talk about the Capitol because, you know, <laughs> Flu would have just, he would have went in for like five minutes. Uh, he would definitely with, 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 with a very country accent as well, yeah. taking the piss out all of them. But. Well, we know we're going to get more content on Wednesday in regards yeah. to that. Oh, we're definitely going to get more content in regards to that. Like, they are not happy. Yo, Trump, you got to leave, man. Come out my yard, rude boy, isn't it? Not impeached. Yeah. Could they impeached him for the second time or for the first time? They have, but he still has to have a trial, isn't it? Mm. But that will happen after he's out of office. Yeah. So hey, yeah, it's all right. Were you ever a fan of MF Doom? You know what? I, I'm ashamed to say I wasn't. Like I'm, I, I, I couldn't tell you my. F- I know who he was. I'm a very, I'm very a, a, aware of who he is and his importance to the game and independent, being an independent artist and just like being a real hip hop head. But I wasn't. I was never a real fan. I can't lie. All right. Well, the next time we meet up, whenever this is over, that's what we're doing together. I'm gonna sit you down and play the album. Rest in peace to MF Doom. One of my favorite rappers, man. A big, a big, a huge influence to me. So yes, we're gonna we're gonna go through that through that through that journey together. And I feel like we. Kate wants to get involved. I let Kate Tate too. Exactly. I feel like we've missed bare like we've we've had bare verses that we haven't even spoken about either. Um. So we had the the famous Gucci Mane <laughs> and Jeezy. I'll leave you two to talk about that. That was tense, bro. That was tense. That was tense. Were you? Did you watch that? Did you watch all of that? Bro, come were you on. scared? Were you scared? I was so I, scared. I, I was watching it like this. Oh is, man, I was scared. Pop off, but, I, I was watching it like I'm about to be a wit the witness. <laughs> like we are all witnesses <laughs> to somebody is gonna man. get head tops. <laughs> oh, hey, I, I was my really favorite, nervous. My favorites have to be uh, obviously the Beanie Man versus obviously Bouncy. I, don't, I think that's the number one. I don't yeah, think that's definitely. Be. You can't beat it. I don't, I don't think that's, anything, that's not beating. Anything tops that. That's no. Not. Um, but I did love the Teddy Riley versus Baby <laughs> Day. I really the second one, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, really, I really enjoyed that. Um, you know what? I really enjoyed Monica versus Brandy. I really yeah. loved that. I fucking love that battle. Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, that was another one that I was watching and I was tense because Yeah, I was waiting, I was waiting for the shade. I was waiting for it. I was what? Like, Monica, on, was, Monica was not on it. Hey, she she was it. I swear, yeah, Monica was not on it. Monica was just like every time, like Brandy, like sort of like yes. you know, a piece of shade. Monica was like, "Yeah, I'm over that, you know, you know." Yeah, <laughs> like, she yeah. tied down every time. I was like, yeah, nah, 
There's another versus I'm not thinking of that was fucking classic. We had who else did we have? Uh, we had Nelly and Ludacris. I, I don't even know why that even happened. I like that one. I did like. I, I thought I that was fun. It, and it made it made me it made me remember. Okay, how much of a star Nelly was? It was like, oh yeah, of course, Nelly Nelly did his thing. Yeah, but Luda was gonna win that. I yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was not comparable. Oh, I enjoyed uh, Snoop versus DMX. That was fun. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. But remember, there's a classic iconic battle that I forget. Oh yeah, Rizzo versus Rizzo versus Primo was fun. Rizzo, Rizzo Primo was good. But there's another one I forget. What well, was it new or older? We had Jill Scott and Erica Badu. Jill, Jill Scott. That was the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That was amazing. I lit my candles for that. I was I was in the zone. I was in the zone. They had Sage and everything. Yeah, man. Like he was in it. Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready for Keisha Cole and Ashani as well. So. Yeah, that's the one. We need more of that, man. I feel like, I feel like I love a mismatch, man. Do you? You think Ashani's just going to kill her? That, man. Nah. <laughs> You know you what? Need, you watch these verses. You need to have a bit of ooh, who's gonna win? No, yeah, yeah. Sure, he's got this one. Do you know oh, what? Watch it anyway. No, no, no. Do you know what? what you forget. Keisha Cole's got bangers, you know. In it, Tay, she got bangers. Yeah. Honestly, no, she does. no, of course she does. She yeah. does, and she, she ha- and she's written some sort of artist too. Isn't it? Yeah. But Ashanti's also written some sort of artist. Too. Ashanti's written a hits. Like, I'm not gonna lie. She's my got Jayla records. That's my <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, but Keisha Cole's got like slow ballads that are like, like Ashanti, I don't think Chan- Ashanti hasn't got. Th- I don't think Ashanti's got that lane. I don't think. Yeah. She's, I think she's got like hit R and B pop records, but she hasn't got this slow in your feelings records. And I yeah, think that, like that will take you back. Yeah, like, oh, I remember that because my man cheated on me and I was yeah, crying exactly. like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you. she ain't got them. Yeah, I mean Keisha's got them. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tay was revealing some stuff there, but I'm like, I'm like yo, okay. You look pretty, Tay. You look all you look Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Salute to the artist, man, for, for like putting ego aside as well, because I feel like it must take a lot of ego, like a lot of pride to go up against, like put your catalogue up against another artist's catalogue and have people say that person was better than you. Like, it takes a lot. Do you know what I'm saying? I know even just as a DJ, like when you, when you, we talk about DJ clashes all the time, so DJs don't want to do it because you don't want to lose. You don't want to be told that another person is better than you. Yeah. So to put your whole catalog up against another person, it's brave. And they're doing it all for the sake of us being entertained because we're at home and we've got nothing yeah. to do. So salute yeah. to them, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we should do that, like a... They, they, that to, uh, Rick Ross and uh, 2 Chain. They had a good one. Well. What do you think of that one? You like that? The yeah, strippers Rick came out. Rick Ross won it. But 2 Chainz yeah. came out singing, though. I have to admit, he came out singing. I could get certain 2 Chainz songs. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. It was like, all right, should we talk wrestling? Yeah, let's do it. Should we I'm try? Thinking, I think we've lost already. Try, let's try. <laughs> let's try. Um, so, I think, like, at the last, I feel like the last podcast we had would have been just after Mania. Am I right? Yeah. Drew McIntyre, I guess. Yeah. Drew McIntyre. Oh, and listen oh, to the archives. Yes. Go back and listen to it in the archive. Um, I've actually got another Drew McIntyre interview that we are going to be dropping real soon. I did it for um, the web seminar. There's a web seminar. And yeah, I, I, yeah, we're going to put that out. It's like 20 minutes of me and Drew just talking about his career. We speak about that moment in Scotland when he came back. Um, mad. Yeah. We, we, yeah. So I'm gonna, we're going to drop that real soon. Um, but yeah, that was the last time we spoke. And that, then it was just, was that just before the Thunderdome? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, let's start. Yeah, with, the let's, let's start with the Thunderdome. What do we think of the Thunderdome? I think it's good for what they could do in it. Like it's it's something. We, you're not going to get a crowd in there for a while. So for them having like the screen, the, the pictures on there make me feel a bit more at ease with um, uh, rather than no one being there. So what do you think, Skilly? It is. You know, I mean, it is what it is. It's okay. It's it, obviously you know it's like fake crowd noises and whatnot, but. I think a lot of people are irritated by the fake crowd noise, but I, I'm not. I don't mind. Nah, it. I like. I like it. It's background noise. You know, it just helps the fight a little bit more. <laughs> exactly. Skillet hates it. I can tell. No, no. You know what? I actually agree with Tay. It's like, mm. what? What can you do? Like, you have to. Uh, you have to do something. You know what I mean? And, and um, the look of the Thunderdome is actually quite decent. Still, is mm. it? It kind of. It feels like you know. Back in the day, you used to watch the old films in the 80s and 90s and they used to predict what the future is going to be like and it's like all well, the spectators and people we're here bro we're in the future my G. <laughs> we, are, we are literally here we are now. in the future my G. The, 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 fake crowd, the fake crowd noise does get a bit annoying but at the same time 
it's needed because if you didn't have to create fake crowd noise, you just literally hear footsteps and man coughing. Mm. That's just love. So, do you, but do you think it's corny that they like? Yeah, you I know what I don't like. I don't like the when, they, when, they, when they're pumping the chants. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Do the <laughs> Do the cheering, but don't do. Especially when they. Don't do that. Don't do that. No one's saying that. No one's saying that. Innit? So don't don't do that. But I hate when they do the "This is awesome, John," and it's only like the match was just about started. You're like yeah. you're, you got came in too early with this one. You were too quick on the button. That's like, it. Stop. Yeah, they're, they're really producing it. They're producing, they're producing reactions. They're producing everything. But I feel like it's good because they're actually like going out of their way to really uh, trying to evoke emotion now. I do feel like some of the chants are like, I don't feel like the crowd will really do that. And sometimes even like, we, we'll get into it, but even with this whole Roman Reigns thing, like the crowd is booing throughout the whole section. Like they would at least be quiet for a little bit to let him hear what he's going to say. Like he could get boos out of them if he was, if there was a crowd there, but they're just having the boos go out throughout the whole <laughs> section. Like to try and just emphasize like he is a it's heel. Yeah. Yeah, like, he's a bad guy. <laughs> I feel like Roman would be getting cheers by now, but you know. Oh, I think I, definitely. I think he'll be so over. One hundred percent. Roman, like Tay's always said it because Tay's mm. always stood by him no matter what. But but uh, <laughs> and obviously, and I think Ace and I always knew that he'll be a great heel. We always knew yeah, that. Yeah, said it. But um, but um, yeah, one hundred percent. If this was in front of a live crowd right now, he would be getting cheered out the door. Um, so where should we start? All right, Thunder, we, lo- we love the Thunderdome. That's, that is the original. And it's interesting because not every uh, wrestling show has the facilities to do that. AEW's handling it without, without screens. Yeah, but what I'm... This what I know, like, AEW is doing a decent job of it. And like, mm. the last episode I watched AEW was actually quite fun and entertaining. But I, I feel like with the... I know they have, they have, the, they have the, the wrestlers who have not really used much in the active roster be the crowd. But at least switch where people sit, innit? You get me? Okay. At least, at least, like, week in and week out, you see Brian, you see, you see Brian Pillman Jr. Oh, yes. Brian, Brian, Brian my, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. God bless you, Brian Pillman. His, his son, sitting, stand, sitting in the stand, just there, like, in, 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 like, you just know where he's going to be week in and week out. Like, why can't he be on the left side? He's why, why he's always on the right. He's always on the right. It's like, I'm seeing the same people located in the same seats. We can, it's annoying. It's so annoying. Like, switch it up in it. Maybe think that other people is in the crowd that I don't know. You get what I mean? Like, Are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I feel you. And um, what, is NXT in on? They don't do that in the Thunderdome, do they? No, they're still in the training center. Yeah, they're still in uh, the training center. But have they got, they got fake noise, though, I'm sure. So they've got like a, a little crowd, and then yeah. they've got. Um, the screen, Tay, am I right? Don't they have the screens as well, Tay? I remember, you know, I haven't watched NXT for a long time, but yeah, when yeah. I was watching it, it was just, it was just the, the wrestlers that were just there on the go. side. So Tay, Tay's like me, when we, we haven't watched NXT. NXT. That's, it shows you, man. It shows you, it tells you everything, man. This is going to be so bad. We're going to have like real wrestling fans listening to this, like, what? Why are we listening to this? They have <laughs> why why it. are you even doing that? They love us. <laughs> they, they love us. I've got so many wrestling questions before we start talking about what's going on. Let's start with NXT. Finn Balor is the current NXT champion. Yep. I ask you this, Tay and Skillet, is that a demotion or a promotion for said Finn Balor? Who was a, remember, he was a universal champion, the first universal champion. Is Finn Balor being the current NXT champion, knowing that we see him on TV every week, which is great, it, but let's be honest, NXT is... The C show. Like, it's, there's no two ways about it. Like they want to. They're trying to make it like a like the, the, the triple A show. Like A A A. It's not. It's not that. NXT is the C show. So that being said, is that a demotion for Finn Balor or not? I'll let Tay go first. <laughs> um, me. I, I'm trying to think of it as if I was in his shoes, and I would definitely see it as a demotion because. Yeah. Because if I was on the main roster and I've got this belt and I'm walking around and I'm going to TV shows and da 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 da, okay, I'm on NXT and I'm the champion. But it's kind of like you see when Charlotte was was NXT Women's Champion, it it, it wasn't the same. Like yeah. it was like you were just like, oh yeah, she's NXT Women. Are they going to give it to someone else? Because why does she have it? Does she right. need to have it? She doesn't really need to. She's bigger than that. That's what people were thinking. So you're. Okay. Do you think people think that of Finn, though? Do you think people think... No, that's the thing, no. They don't, do they? They're like, yo, this makes sense. 
which is like, sad. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. But oh, I don't know. I don't know either. I, I think it's a demotion, but I don't, I don't see where he's going to go because Vince clearly don't like him. Skillet? Yeah, I think Tay's right. I think um, I think we all kind of felt that way when he first, when he first got put down to NXT. I know I shouldn't say the word down because it's supposed to be left, 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 or whatever. Left, left, right, whatever. Um, but yeah, from what Finn Balor, you know, I could have, weren't we not there, Ace, when he won the title? No. I, I or the, oh, the I, NXT I, championship or the Universal oh, when championship? He won the Universal title. No, I watched it on TV. No, the, we were that, there. It was the summer time he got injured. Oh, no, that was me and Loud. Sorry. No, I wasn't there. No, yeah, 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 you left me. I, I sent you. <laughs> you sent me to see it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, you know, I saw how big of a moment that was and, yeah. um, and what the plans they probably had for him. The buckle uh, bomb fucked it up. Obviously, yes. It's, it's like, and especially where NXT is now. It's not, it's, this is not the NXT where it was the best show between all three brands. Mm. It's not the best show anymore. You know, it's taken a bit of a dip. Still a good show. Still a very fun show. But SmackDown's probably the best show, arguably, right? All right. Yeah. Um, but would you would you rather be Finn Balor as NXT champion or Shinsuke Nakamura? Shinsuke, because Shinsuke, Why? Because Shinsuke's going to be, even though he's going to lose, and even though he still can't cut a promo, <laughs> to be fair, I feel like Shinsuke is getting a push again for some shame. Some he is, yeah. Reason. He's, you know he's coming out of nowhere. Yeah. No, you know why? Do you know who's joined the creative team? Go on. Hey, do you think do you think you have an inkling? Okay, Ace, hey, you don't know? No. Daniel Bryan. Really? Daniel Bryan has joined the creative team, so he's trying to help out Shinsuke. This is the reason why Cesaro might be getting a little bit pushed. But Cesaro's contract might be up as well. So that's another reason why they push it, Cesaro. So he doesn't go AEW. But um, but um, yeah, Daniel Bryan is behind all of this. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that, that makes that, a hell of a lot of sense. Shinsuke is getting a bit of the rub now. He's not, he's not going to. He's not going to beat Roman Reigns. No. Roman Reigns is going to have this title for the foreseeable future until the great one comes and faces with him. And even then, The Rock's not going to win. But he will, but The Rock and Roman will probably be the main event of WrestleMania when the live crowd is back. So maybe in 2022, yeah, yeah. they're probably going to have Reigns have this belt for the next year undefeated. But isn't that um, the Hollywood mania is not till 2023? Ooh. So 2021 is Tampa, 2022 is Dallas, 2023 so we'll to is Hollywood. Yeah. We'll have to do it in Dallas. We'll have to. You think they're going to do it in Dallas? I yeah, can't wait that long. A two hour. With the attention span of people today, I don't see a two-hour title run win. Um, two-year title yeah. run, two-year title, two year. No, but he could lose it a couple times they, and they then get it back. They've they done it with Brock Lesnar, but he was never always on the show. So when he when he showed up, it was special. You know what I mean? But I feel um, like Reigns having the belt for two years straight. I don't know if that's gonna. Work. How old would a Rock be in 2023? Actually, yeah. it doesn't matter. Goldberg's about to have a title shot at fucking Royal Rumble. It does, actually really doesn't matter. All right. Should we go? To, let's talk about WWE. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I've been watching every week. I've been watching it. I'm I'm in. There's bit, there's weeks where I hate it. There's weeks where I like it. There's weeks where I see little bits of genius, and there's weeks where I get really excited about things. And then the week after that, they fuck it up. Then it's mad. But I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We start with Raw. Let's start with Raw before we talk about the the amazingness of Roman Reigns. Um, Drew McIntyre. <laughs> I, <knew laughs> I didn't even need to look at Skillet's face. I just knew. I, my I could guy, just... man. <laughs> no, he's not Listen, feeling it. I know. I know. I know he's following orders. I understand, and he has a job to do. I get it. I'm not. I'm not having a go at him because I don't know what I would do if I was in his shoes. Mm. But the but but the Hogan stuff, bro. Wow. I I can't. I can't. That, that might be. Did you watch that whole episode? I couldn't even Legend. watch the whole episode. I couldn't. Oh my god! It was but, so but, bad. I heard, but see, I understand this. Like, it's a weird one. It's like, what do you do? Like, the, Vince is asking you to make, make basically put Hogan over again, and it's like, I don't. I just. I. I, I don't know. I've, I've kind of. I don't. I haven't. I haven't lost respect for Drew. That's not fair. In, it's not fair on Drew. But at the same time, it's a bit like uh, he probably could have said no. <laughs> like, can I 
really truly like like if, if Drew said, you know what, Vince, I'm not comfortable with like, you know, putting over a racist. And then Vince is like, what? You're fired. And then you could you could go on all the freaking uh, wrestling chats and say, hey, you know what? He fired me because I didn't want to want to work with a racist. And everybody would be like, in favor of Drew. And then AEW would be like, yeah, yeah, come over here. We don't support that shit. You know what I mean? It could it it could so favor him as well at the same time. <laughs> I think I do you know what, I, you're right because I just do think that Drew is just super respectful of yeah. everything wrestling. He's just respectful. He's a very yeah, respectful course, person. Course, but we, again, I feel like you do need that. You need that edge, man. You need that look. I don't feel like you can be that super cookie cutter, clean guy. Like that was. It's funny that he was in that scene with with the. Because to be fair, actually, to be fair, Hogan wasn't even that cookie cutter either. He was an arsehole behind it. You know this, like, do you know what I'm saying? So maybe he needs a little bit of that arsehole. But I feel like Drew is so, like, appreciative of the position he's in at the moment that he's probably going to do whatever they ask him to do. No, how how, just, how would you not book him, though? How would you book him? Like, how would, do we make Drew interesting? Like, what do we do? Well, I think, you know what? With the... No, what, what do you mean interesting? You don't think he's interesting? You don't think I, feel, interesting? I, I just feel like they haven't, they haven't, we, I don't, he hasn't got a storyline at the moment. I don't care about him and Goldberg. I don't necessarily care. I don't care if Seamus, I don't care if Seamus is going to turn on it. I don't care about, like, give me something that I care about. I don't care about any of this stuff. Like, none of this is, it, it's not even, it's not even 5% of what Roman's doing on the other show. It's not, I don't care. Like, give me an opponent, like, you gave us, Keith Lee versus Drew McIntyre. Great. The match was awesome. Whatever. But what, like, why should we even care about the match? Like, th- he's got no story. There's nothing. So he needs something. He might, um, he might have to lose the belt, you know? Um, I think he will lose the belt. To Goldberg? Yeah. I think Sheamus is going to turn on Drew and during that match. Really? Yeah. I think, wow. I think, which is sad to say because I don't why would they make? Why are you putting the belt on Goldberg? What? What is? What is going on? Who's Goldberg on face? Do you think that like that was in Goldberg's contract? Look, I have to have these belts because Goldberg beat Bray Wyatt. Yeah, go go for the list. No, <laughs> he beat Brock Lesnar, Bray Wyatt, and he's about Kevin to beat, Owens. Drew, beat Kevin, Kevin Owens. Now he's about to beat Drew McIntyre. Maybe. Wow. He beat Goldberg before, didn't he? Who Goldberg? I mean, he, could... beat Brock, he beat Lesnar before, didn't he? Yeah, he beat Lesnar. He squashed Lesnar, remember? Wow, yeah. I mean, I, I, to be fair, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind Drew losing, just not to Goldberg. Like, let's give it to someone else, man. Why are we trying to make, like, the thing with Goldberg, okay, I can understand, like, from back in the day, you know, he never lost and he was this, 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 this big thing. But... Like, why, why are we still trying to continue this? <laughs> I don't understand why this needs to continue into 2021. Like we do, I don't, I just don't think Goldberg is needed at that level. He's really not. At all. I didn't even understand the promo. Like, it was like, you're disrespecting us because you think I can't, like, my, I didn't even say that, bro. Like, why, <laughs> you're putting words in my mouth. I never said that I thought that I could beat you. Like, why are you like, why are you coming at me? It didn't even make sense. Yeah, I'm I'm confused, man. I'm so confused, and I feel like they do have pieces on that show that could work. Like, I've, obviously, we know we all. I'm, I'm, without even asking you, I'm sure that we all agree that they're not doing the right things with Keith Lee. No. Um, I feel like it had something with the hurt business, and I feel like they're gonna mess it up. Every week, I'm sitting there with bated breath, being like, "Just don't, just, just, just don't mess it up. Like, just yeah. keep them on this course. Like, keep them going." It's kind of like how I felt about New Day at the beginning. I was like, just keep them just going. Keep, keep it churning. Yeah. You think that's just a slow build or they just don't know what to do with them? Well, with that business? Yeah. No, I mean, you know what? So, Cedric, Shelton, they're the tag team champs, right? Yeah. Lashley, US champ. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, it's a bit rocky. There's times when they get it wrong and there's times they get it right. Um, I think I think they know how valuable the hurt business is. And I think... They'll probably do a lot with them going into Mania. I feel like I feel like I think Cedric is going to have a awesome show. This is my prediction. I could be totally wrong here because he might not be being a damn match, right? But I feel like Royal Rumble. I think Cedric Alexander is going to have a show stealing match. Mm. I think I I I get the feeling 
they've got some, they, Cedric has really shown some real personality as becoming a heel. And I think they are going to make him be a, one of those annoying people that is hard to eliminate. He's going to do them, probably going to do the Shelton stunt. Who, who started the Kofi spot? The Kofi yeah, spot. yeah. He'll probably do a Kofi spot. He'll probably do all these things that make him last at the Rumble for a long time. It's hard to eliminate. He's annoying. But obviously, he gets eliminated eventually. But I think, I think, I think they've got um, some stock into Cedric. You know why you're right as well? Because Kofi won't even be in the Rumble. Yeah. So they're going to need somebody to, to give them that spot. I'm an athletic black man. <laughs> Number one. Three guys. <laughs> Um, we, are we, speaking, we, speaking of athletic, <laughs> speaking of speaking of athletic black men, yeah. Keith Lee did the Spanish fly. My, I love Keith Lee. My, <laughs> he like, did the damn Spanish. What is going on, bro? Like I, fam, I get tired just walking down the stairs at times. Like this guy, <laughs> <laughs> like this guy is doing something. He's wow. I need, I, I need a conversation with him. I need to find out. I need to get like that too. How, how is it, bro? Spanish fly. Alright, can you can you tell the the kick out listeners what you said that you would do with Keith Lee in regards yeah. to her business? Go for go for that. I was booking Monday Night Raw. I would have Keith Lee uh, turn heel and join the Hurt business and become their world champion. So maybe that. So they got they have all the belts. All the, belts. all the belts. With MVP as the mouthpiece, amazing. Yes. So maybe yeah. that's not what we're not thinking about. Maybe Drew is actually going to beat Goldberg. And then Keith Lee turns we'll on face him. Keith Lee again. Yeah. And during that pay-per-view, Hurt Business shows up and he turned heel on that map and wins the belt. Or maybe, or maybe Keith Lee wins the rumble to or go maybe, on to fight to or face. Maybe Drew. Keith Lee wins the rumble and her business helps him win the belt. Mm. Um, anything else from Raw that we need to discuss? What, how you feel about Miz and Morrison? Um, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, but they're not like you know. They 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 got obviously they got chemistry and stuff. They've, we've always known that, but it's it's not. Hold on, why does Miz still have the money in the bank? I thought he cashed that in. Well, uh, technical stuff or something, wasn't it? Um, you said yeah. So basically, John Morrison cashed it in, not the Miz. John Morrison actually gave the referee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. John Morrison was the one that gave the referee the suitcase, not the Miz. So technically, Miz didn't actually cash in. Morrison, quite, you know what? Though? That is quite clever. That's it quite is clever. clever. It is clever. And um, um, it gives them something to do. To be fair, because we know right. we know Miz is not going to be the world champion again, or is he? But I doubt it. So like, it gives them something to do. It gives them something to do. He might. You know what? He might be the one that just defeats Drew. You know. You think so? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Nah. But um, oh, Rick, Rick Flair and, and Lacey Evans. That's that was weird. That's that is so disgusting. Do you know why I find this so nasty? Yeah, because oh. Lacey Evans looks so much like he's just so similar to Charlotte. Like, why are you making <laughs> like her? You know what I mean? Of all people, please don't. But well, to be honest, Lacey, like Evans, this, Lacey Evans would be Rick Flair's type. In yeah, of course. Standard. 100%. Yeah. Um, my only thing is, I don't know if I'm Charlotte. How do you feel about this? I just feel like it's a bit much. Like, did he not take a punt by Randy Orton a few months ago, a few weeks yeah. ago? They're doing a he lot. Took, he took a punt. This man nearly died a couple of years ago. You know. Yeah, you, you know, don't remember like, like he, he get... nearly died, <laughs> and now you're getting him to take a punt, and now you want him during pandemic COVID time to be woo floating around with Lacey Evans. In the, you know what I mean? Like, what is going on? What are we, what are we still doing? What, what is Vince McMahon thinking? Like, why is this still allowed? Like, if I'm Charlotte, I'm fuming. I'm like, this is my dad. Do you want to kill my dad? Like, it sounds like you want to kill my dad. That's what I would say. No, but at least Rick, Rick's getting a check. He's getting a check per appearance. At least they're keeping him getting in play. You know what I mean? He's getting a check. He's getting and a check, man. Last year, he nearly died. And... <laughs> he nearly died. We, we haven't really spoken about Randy. I, like, although, like, a lot of the Randy stuff is, like, rehashed and, like, we've seen it before. The sad truth of the matter is, like, for a long time, he was keeping the show together, you know? He was, he was. Uh, nah, last, he was. Last year. Yeah, yeah. Like, for, like, a long run... He like he was really holding the show together. Like he was the main heel. Like he had the belt for a little bit, obviously, but like he was giving us good matches still. Like 
I'm I'm not angry with him. I don't I don't I don't really I don't love the 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 fiend stuff. I don't love it as much as some people do. Neither do I. But I respect Randy. I think he's like he's really showing his worth to the company. What what do you hate about the fiend stuff? Uh, I just find it like when the fiend first came, I was actually very excited. I think the debut was amazing against Finn Balor when he debuted that new remix of his theme song. I thought, oh, that's amazing. The entrance, everything. And then it just gets a bit like, okay, well, what's happening now? It's, just, it's a bit all over the place. It's, I felt that the best thing The Fiend did since he, since he debuted as The Fiend, this is going to be a controversial opinion, right? <laughs> and Tay's probably going to hate me for this. But I believe... I know he's going to say I know. I know exactly what he's going to say. Pushing, pushing the debut aside, because that was amazing, pushing when he... When he, when he um, introduced that new entrance, that was amazing. But I honestly think the best thing the theme done for me, entertainment wise, was the match with John Cena. I knew he was gonna say that. But that match was unreal. Like, I, I think people don't understand how- no, do you know what? No, no it don't. wasn't me, it was Flu that didn't like it. I loved that match. No, I know, no, I know, yeah, no, no. Tay, I knew you loved it. I knew you loved it. I just, mm-hmm. thought, I just thought maybe saying that's the best thing might be a bit like her. But I know, yeah, I know Flu was against it. Listen, I think that match was genius, right? But like, I just haven't been captivated by him since. And now mm-hmm. that Harley, now Harley Quinn is in the thing now. I mean, sorry, Alexa Bliss. Now that Alexa Bliss is in it now, it's like, okay. What about when they, what did you think about them uh, committing murder on live TV? Yeah, they, they um, no, Randy Orton killed him, right? Yeah, he killed him, killed him, <laughs> fully killed him. It's burning him alive. So Randy Orton awesome. killed him, and that's why Alexa tried to burn his face, isn't it? You know? Yeah. That was the worst Nollywood sketch I've ever seen. Oh man. Hadouken! <laughs> you win! <laughs> so bad. Like, she, she but, was I, fire, boy. People like it though. People really like The Fiend. They really love And obviously, when he comes back, I just don't want to see more one, Fiend Randy. I'm done one, with that, man. What annoys me about wrestling fans, yeah? They will love the Fiend, right? Love it, love it, love it. But they were complaining about, I don't know. Like, I'm, I understand Charlotte always wins stuff. I get it. It's quite annoying that she always wins stuff, but I would rather see Charlotte over the Fiend. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anything else from Raw that we're not mentioning? You feel like this is like, do you feel like this is the end of the New Day? Do you feel like they do you feel like the magic is fully gone without Biggie? I think they're gonna have to work hard to keep it. Mm. I think because Biggie brought a lot to it, even though like because he was like a lot of the mouthpiece, like a different type to Xavier Woods. I agree. I think they're gonna struggle. I think they're gonna struggle to, to what to do with them and try mm. and not them because they've got to make them different to when there was a trio to now being a duo. So what do you do with them that's, that's that different? I think it's time for Xavier Solo run as well. Yeah, I think so. I feel like Biggie was kind of like their Van Dyke. We've seen Liverpool without Van Dyke recently. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's the same with um, New Day. You know, yeah. Biggie did so much that even like his mannerisms and his ad-libs, like he just did his energy, everything. Even in matches, he was amazing. So... He's done so much. I think rightfully so. Biggie should be the one getting the push because that's another that's another Daniel Bryan um, idea, by the way. The Biggie should, solo. Should we that. should we talk about SmackDown then? Let's start with Biggie. Like, what do you think of Biggie as the IC champion? Yeah, I think it's a good look. I don't think they should rush Biggie to be winning world titles. Like, hey, so you and I was in this clubhouse chat last night, mm. and they're talking about people who who should have won the belt. And I'm thinking, all right, guys, like you're mentioning all these names who possibly could have maybe won the title, but you're mentioning people that I honestly don't think is worthy, right? You, who are they mentioning? Like Rusev. Yeah. No. That, exactly, Ted. Ryback. Exactly. Right like, like, like... Ryback, right never, yeah, said sorry. Right back. <laughs> no. they said, they said, Whoever said Ryback right should have just got eliminated from that clubhouse, like, get they said, out. They said, yeah, for real, Ted. They said, they said Rusev when he had that Rusev day run, but I don't, that, that, that don't That wasn't world champion. That, no. world title. That no, mean, that wasn't world title. I feel like what people do is they mistake popularity for being a world champion, you know, and he, he can't do that. Like, uh, people said Wade Barrett. Like, what? No, I, I think Wade Barrett during the Nexus run would have made Back sense. Back in the day. 
Oh yeah, during that no, no, a hundred percent, bro. Do you remember the impact of the Nexus, bro? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, oh, hun- like, even if it was a short run, even if it was a short run, it would have made so much sense. Are you ser- Skillet? You're serious? Are you serious? I can't do it, man. You don't think the Nexus was was ended way too soon? The, the, the Nexus definitely ended way too soon, but the fact that. The, the fact that that didn't even have well, how long was that? How long did that run for? But they were Monster Hills. They were the Monster yeah, Hills. Monster Hills that got cut really short, right? Yeah. So why should the Monster Hill have the belt? No, but no, bro, no. Why? You have to, you have to kind of like build it up a bit better. But they didn't build it up enough to even give him that. Anyway. Bro, Seamus, Seamus had a title <laughs> within the I first agree, like agree. And, and obviously three or four. And, and no one, no heart. one says that was a bad move. No one says that Seamus getting it that early was bad. I did. Nah, when you look back at it, it made sense now, surely. I feel, I feel um, some people are, some, there's times when people are really, really ready. Some people mm. get it earlier than they should do. And then, and then there's times when they get it again, and when they get it the second time, they are now, they are officially now ready for that. Mm. You get what I'm I saying? you think that's what happened with him? Definitely. Okay. When Shane was first at the bell, I was like, what are you doing, blood? <laughs> you know what he was doing. That's why, that's why I never argued when people would say, oh, Kofi should have won it. That time he had that beef with Randy Orton. No, oh, no, 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 no. Kofi would not have been ready. The time no. Kofi won it was perfect. Yeah. That was actually perfect. Yeah, yeah, no, I, so, agree. Like, I agree. I think some people would like, they did tend to rush when champ people should win belts. Brother, come on, me and you, Ante, we all come from a fucking era when it was hard to win belts in our yeah. hard. Mm. Like, certain, yeah. man, certain man did not win belts that should have been really winning belts. Like Ted DiBiase and Jake yeah. the and Roddy Pipe, but that man yeah. really should have been winning belt, and they never won it. So I'm seeing it from that perspective. Where now it's like any Joe can win it. Mm. So what they were saying that Biggie should be the world champion. I'm saying I'm saying Biggie should be too, but I'm not saying yet. I'm saying yeah. I, I'm saying I see title perfect right now because mm. he didn't because when he first won it, he didn't have a proper run when he first won the title. Yeah, particular day. So now it's perfect for him to have the IC title. Build him up more, 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 and then I would say maybe this time next year he should be challenging for the belt. Yeah. Did you Did you guys see SmackDown on Friday? So I didn't see all of it. I did see so so Adam Pearce is going right. to be impressing. So yeah. let, me, let me let me give you what's going on. Let me give you what's going on with with Big E first. We'll start with Big E in the IC Championship. Right. Yeah. So actually, no, we kind of got to talk about Roman before we get into that. So like Roman. Um, we're going to talk about SmackDown. So Roman, um, if you guys know, had had because it's, it's actually not the match anymore. Had the um, a match with Adam Pearce, who's this executive for WWE, so also yeah. a former wrestler, right? Yeah, he used to he used to wrestle Ring of Honor back in the day. Yeah, so he, we, you guys will know, he fandangled his way into getting a match with Adam Pearce at the Royal Rumble. Um, but Roman's got these really cool like sections of the show where he's like in the back just chilling. Like he just, he just a bad man. He is a bad okay. man. Like, yeah, you gotta love him. He, he's a boss. Like Paul Heyman comes and just speaks in his ear, and Roman's just chilling, like, just like doing his thing. So then there's one section where like Roman's just like, like, yo, yeah. So this is like giving somebody advice. He's just like, look, this is how you gotta run them because when you do this, like, this is how they listen to you. You're gonna, you're gonna pay attention to there, there. And you can tell that he's got a student. Camera pans out. It's Apollo Cruz. Okay. Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz is just listening, intent, like taking it all in. So he's oh, like, look. So like Paul Heyman comes in and Apollo Cruz gets up to leave, like, oh, you're gonna have a meeting. And and um Roman's like, no, no, sit down. You need to hear this. You're gonna learn. Come learn today. And Apollo's just like taking it in, taking it in. That's so, great. like, so then we get to the match later on in the night. It's uh Apollo Cruz versus Sami Zayn. Biggie's on commentary. And Apollo starts doing some, he starts doing heel moves. He's like grabbing the tights. He's like doing all of these bad things to, to get the win. He, ev- he eventually wins by grabbing the tights. And then he goes on and has a confrontation with, with Big E. So it looks like Roman sending um, Apollo out to get into something with Big E. So I like it. I really do like it. And I, I actually like, I never thought that I could see Apollo as a, as a heel. But it actually works. It actually works. I'm I actually, li- I actually really like this. So that's amazing. So I, mm. I think that's probably. It sounds like to me that Reigns is. He's probably got a lot of say in his new character, and it sounds like Brian mm-hmm. is probably endorsing. Because like I said, he endorsed the Nakamura move, endorsing Cesaro move, and he probably endorsed that Apollo Cruz move as well. 
the, the only thing I'd worry about that is like, if you turn somebody like Apollo Crews Hill, like what's the payoff if he doesn't beat Big E? Nothing. <laughs> like what's the payoff? He, he kind of has to be him. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree there. So do you think it's going to be a short run then for Big E then? So unfortunately, it looks like it might be a short run and they actually, they might fast track him to, to heavyweight status. They actually might oh yeah, him. so Big E will be angry and then go after Roman. They might do that. Come here. Mm. But because I would hope that he just loses to Apollo Crews and them to have a little bit and then it moves on. Do you know what I mean? So they do a slow burn with Big E and like he keeps on having to fight all these different people before he then goes up. Yeah. But we'll see, it'll go either way. Because yeah. what they could do is if 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 Apollo is the IC champion and joins the um what are they called the bloodline, yeah, and so they have the universal, the IC, and then Jimmy comes back, and, tags. and they get the tags, yeah. then they just got everything, and then they go hurt business on the other side. That is sick. All the belts. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's all the man with colour have got belts. Belts, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. There you go. So, yeah, Ro Roman obviously is doing amazing work. So, yeah, like I said, that Adam Pearce match is not happening because Adam Pearce um, had a stipulation in the contract that says if he's not medically geared to, to fight, then he can choose his replacement and he chooses Kevin Owens as his replacement. It's a last man standing match at the Royal Rumble. We're getting KO Roman Reigns again. Obviously, KO is not going to win, but um, we're getting again at the Royal Rumble, which, I mean, it's going to be fine. There are going to be a lot of sports, a lot of big sports. They'll have a great... They've had good matches so far. They've had some really good matches. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But, yeah, Roman's doing amazing work, man. Loving it. Love it. Um, the, the Street Profits lost the belts. They lost to Ziggler and Rude, right? Yeah. Rudolph. Oh, that's fine. So, I guess they'll have a rematch at Rumble. They, they just had a rematch. Oh, well, no, did they? No, they got a rematch at Rumble. You're right. They got a rematch at Rumble. Yeah, you're right. I like, I like the Street Profits, man. I think they've, they've got, they're getting better in terms of like mic work. I think, I think, <laughs> I think uh, Montez is kind of calming it down a bit. Yes. Um, and the in ring, obviously, the in ring work is getting much better as well. Hopefully. But, so, yeah, man, we'll see. Do you I think, think about I think, that, I think it's good that Ziggler and Rude got to win it because. They've always been a bit of a funny one, that tag team. So I'm glad to see them. They've actually, now, now they're wearing matching colours now, aren't they? Matching trunks and stuff like that. Are they like an official official tag team now? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like proper. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, before yeah. Like, just thrown together. Yeah. Now yeah. they're actually together. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's cool. I like, I'd like to see them kind of grow in that, in that tag team together then with the belt yeah, for a yeah, little exactly. while. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. I don't feel like it for a while. I think this is going to be they a They just fight. transition. Yeah, definitely transition. Definitely mm -hmm. transition. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're probably losing back to Street <laughs> Profits at Rumble, if I'm honest with you. Because I think, I think they're very heavy on... They're very high on Montez. They're oh, really? Love, yeah, yeah, they, they love, love him. They, they, oh, they obviously love Bianca Belair as well. She's, yeah. getting, she's getting a nice run, man. Nice push forward, man. Yeah. So I, I can't wait to watch her Chronicle. I think it comes out this weekend. Okay. Or tonight, maybe. I yeah. Think, did they... Released that AJ Styles debut documentary. They did the, 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 the debut. I've seen it. Apparently, apparently, I was coming on the network as well where they where they talk about his when he first debuted at the Royal Rumble. I haven't seen. I haven't seen that. And the backstage stuff that that's supposed to be quite good. I'm gonna try, try and see if that's on. If it's on the if it's on the network, I'll message you guys and tell you guys to check it. What do you think of of Bianca Belair Bailey? Enjoying that? Do we care? Bailey, there's something in with Bailey that just doesn't. Oh, you don't think it's connecting? Yeah, I, I just don't think I connect with her. As in anything she does, I'm just like, mm, no, no, <laughs> I don't care. Like, I just, I just don't really. Get you miss hugging. You miss the Bailey. hugging, Bailey. You don't miss that. No. No. I, I get the new. I get the new person. I get it, but it's. I don't know. I just. I just can't. I can't get there with her. I don't know what it is. So anyone she. Anytime she has like an interaction with like another, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. I think. I think Bailey's the good. A good person for Bianca Bella to start with. I think it's a good play. Uh, we don't want her to go straight. We don't want to see Bianca Bella Sasha now. It's not time. Nah, uh, let's just wait for that. Um. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, man. Sasha, Carmel. What do you think, Carmela's return? Yeah, I think it's all right. It's like it's, it's, she, you can see it's kind of loosely a different, the different way of doing the Ted DiBiase gimmick, isn't it? 
So she's not that the million dollar woman or nothing, but it's very much, they take a lot of references to Ted DiBiase. She's got a black servant. You know what I mean? Like she just, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff that's quite similar. <laughs> um, she's like, what, what, she's like some sort of like, the, what, she's like a princess or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's balling, she's balling, she's got money, but she's not like a millionaire or nothing. But yeah, she's got a black servant. So she's like, yeah, so it's very much, it's very similar to uh, Ted DiBiase. Yeah. <laughs> they try to call him something like, they've tried to be clev- clever with the name. What do they call him? Like, yeah, I can't remember his name. It was something. I remember listening to us like, what? It's like, it's not servant. It's like, they try to use like a posh name that makes him sound a bit something else. But yeah. she, oh, yeah. a simile, the wine people. Yeah, simile, yeah, yeah. 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 Somalia, yeah. Somalia. Somalia. Yeah. Somalia. Yeah. I'm going to have to say that word, but someone who knows a lot about wine, basically. Right, right. <laughs> and he's actually got a match with Sasha Banks next week. As in? Yeah, yes. <laughs> like, you can taste face. <laughs> what is this? He's actually got a match. It was basically Sasha Banks said, I'm not giving you a match at the Royal Rumble unless I can fight your sommelier, whatever his name is. And so, he, he's wearing suits, isn't it? Yeah, he wears suits. He's obviously like he's obviously a wrestler though, right? Yeah. So he, he takes good bumps. Yeah. Um, what do you think of um where we've placed Daniel Bryan at the moment? The Alpha Academy. Have you seen this? So isn't that a faction that he's trying to make with like Chad Gable? And Otis. Why did they break up Heavy Machinery? Like, what was the point? Yeah, that was, that was stupid. No, but what's, why though? What's, what's Tucker Knight doing now? Not Nothing. a damn thing. Chasing Nothing. the 24-7 towel. Yeah. That, he's been, he's in the dark space. Like, there's nothing's going to happen with him. Did he, do you think he got in trouble? Did he do something wrong? He must have. I don't know. Like, I, think, was, I think Vince just was like, nah, you, you're not bringing... Because Otis brought most of it to that tag team. I mean, like yeah. he was, you know, the one that that helps, the silent one that helps. That's that's who Tucker was. You know? Yeah. But then Otis was like the star of it. So Vince was like, "Now nah, get rid of him, man." Just no, but him. but every tag team has got a star. You need a star in it. Like why can't every tag like every tag? There's Sean. Do you know what I'm saying? Like every tag team has got a star. There's Montez. Like there's there's every tag team has got a star. It wasn't like Elimination Chamber. Tucker Knight was doing bits in that match. I yeah. Cannonballs and all this stuff. Do you know how I know they don't care about him? Like, did you see what he was like the week after he broke up? They broke up. Man was just in a black leotard, like didn't like nothing. Like no man, they have no <laughs> right identity. Like, nothing. <laughs> he was just jobber number one. That is it. And he wasn't like, oh no. Nah. They really did break them up to really elevate Otis. That's hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Sad man. That's really sad. He needs to find another partner, like, within the job squad real quick. Otherwise, ASAP. he's gone. Yeah. ASAP. ASAP. And, yeah, I think I don't think there's much more we can say about how much we really love Roman Reigns at the moment. I think, although you're saying, like, we, like we've been saying, oh, he needs to turn heel. But the issue that we had before was, I haven't, like, this is going to sound like I'm name dropping, but I'm going to say it anyway. I spoke to The Rock about this. And I was like, yo, he needs to turn heel. And the rock was like, it's not in him. It's just not in him. They're like, yes, the crowds don't like him, and he's booed, and he's being booed, so he should turn heel. But that heel character is not in him. So what is it? How did he? Do you think he like? I don't know. Do you think that like, the fact that they let him go after? Um, when did when did he go? Like he went home after from WrestleMania, and then they like took him off the webs. They did all of these things. Do you think there's like? Maybe there was a little bit of anger. Maybe I don't know. It, I, it's, it seems so like hey, in him. Rock was wrong. So you think Rock was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he had that in him. Yeah. I just don't think they allowed him to explore it enough. That's exactly. So where they didn't think he had it in him, he yeah. probably had that there all the time. And they're like, no, no, no. We need, we want the money. We want the kids. We need you. Now there's no kids in the crowd. Right. So what now? Now we can. Now we can be creative. Now okay, you want to be healed? Let's try it. Because there's all no right. kids. We're not losing no money really. Right. Like that. Tay's right. So if you looked at Roman Reigns' work in NXT, he was a heel. And he was a good heel. Mm-hmm. So uh, Rock obviously hasn't seen that. <laughs> 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 and, and I feel the Rock is probably <laughs> saying to you what he's been told by Vince. He's, he's not ready. ready. He's not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, I can just see the Rock. When the Rock comes back after raising his hand in Philadelphia, Roy Rock will go through. Baffled. I can see the Rock going to be saying, hmm, you know what, Vince, maybe you should turn him. Nah, yeah, you ain't got it. Oh, okay, cool. And then when you answered that question, you just said what Vince told me. But um, 
And obviously, Heyman as well. The master stroke of this whole thing is having Heyman by his side. Right. Not only is Roman doing great work, but you've got somebody like Paul Heyman that's really elevating the whole thing as well. So it's a master stroke. It's a, it's a genius move to put Paul Heyman with uh, Reigns. I just want to know what's going to happen. Where's, Lash- Where's Lesnar? That's oh, exactly what I was about to ask. Like, Lesnar to come back and tear up the no, like, no, no, if, if, if Lesnar comes back, does he go for Roman or does he go for Drew? He has to go for Roman. But Drew to. kicked his head off twice. Yeah. I was I watched that wrestle that that Royal Rumble elimination, bro. One of the best eliminations ever. Like the yeah. crowd go nuts. That like Rumble match, that Rumble match was incredible. It was so good. And then, obviously, like we didn't get the mania moment that we wanted, but like he, 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 boy, like he made Lesnar look simple. So he kind of needs to come back and go for Drew. I don't know if I, I don't know, like I don't know, man. I don't know how you book it, especially with Heyman with Roman now. Like, what happens? Yeah, is Lesnar even coming back? That's another. And thing. you know what? That's the thing we're forgetting. You know, we're idiots, bro. How are, we, how are we saying The Rock is going to be the one that's going to come back and beat Ray? You think it's Lesnar? It's going to be Lesnar. Right, maybe. They're so stupid. <laughs> I didn't even think about this before. It's all there. It's going it's to the same thing that we're saying oh. with The Rock, though. Lesnar ain't coming back to no crowd. He's yeah. not no, doing no, that. No, no, yeah. Tay's right. He, he ain't coming back to no crowd. So, but it's definitely going to be Lesnar Ray. Is that. That is more realistic than The Rock coming back. Are you saying that for for main, this mania coming up or the no, mania next year? I think next year. Dallas. I don't know what's gonna happen this year, boy. Dallas still in, induct Undertaker as well. Yes. Hall of, Hall of Fame. Yeah, with his with his um Blue Lives Matter shirts. All right, let's <laughs> let's not talk about that. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, um can we talk AEW, please? Because I yeah. I'm I'm not really I'm I've been in and out. Right. So Bullet Club has now wow. Well, it's not officially Bullet Club, but... Go on, go on. What was that? What's the sound effect? Cool. That, that, <laughs> that, that, will, that will pick up on the podcast, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that, you got that, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so obviously when Kenny Omega beat um, John Moxley for the AW, AEW title, um, he ran and started going to TNA and going to these other promotions and he's going to try and do... He's going to try and become the collector like the Ultimo Dragon did back in the 90s when the Ultimo Dragon collected all the major Japanese belts. Amazing. Um, and obviously some WCW belts Ultimo Dragon had, so he had some American belts too. So Kenny wants to kind of do something like that. So he goes to TNA and he's kind of intimidating TNA to say, look, I'm here, I'm going to come for their belt too. But at the same time, he had these backstage promos with Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. And then they showed up a couple of weeks ago and they did like an invasion and then the Young Box showed up and it looks like Young Box sided with them and it looks like it was like a mini Bullet Club reunion without obviously AJ Styles or Amazing or, or Tamatonga or you know but you know it's, it's yeah yeah. It was, yeah oh yeah but it was yeah it was nice to see but I'm not that I'm like there's a lot of wrestling fans that are marking out right now like oh my God. Like, this is probably what WWE should have done back in the NXT days or back in like 2015, 16 so now I'm just a bit like yeah, you know, but yeah. And then, um, so what happened was um, on this week of Dynamite, um, I think it started off with um, Pac and um, Edison, uh, Eddie Kingston. They had a match, uh, which was nice. Pac has returned. And then, uh, then there was a really fun segment with the Inner Circle. It looks like they're having a bit of tension between the faction. I don't know, Tay, do you, are you up to date with AEW, Tay? Not really, not okay. really. So there's some little tension bubbling between the inner circle. They're all kind of falling out a bit. It's quite actually quite entertaining, actually. It's actually a really good promo. I would recommend you guys check that out. Britt Baker, the wife of Adam Cole, has is a heel now. And she had a little backstage segment, kind of like the barbershop that um, Brutus Briefcake used to have, where she yeah. had her own doctor's... Op- uh, doctor's <laughs> oh, yeah. Surgery uh, kind of office, thing. Surgery yeah. office. And she has like a, a, a nurse with her and a... They're quite funny anyway. They had they had Cody come on as a guest and they were making jokes about, oh, the good thing about you having a child is that nobody's going to see Brandy for nine months. <laughs> and they were making all these little silly jokes. And then Jade Cargill, you know, that really buff, strong, young, beauty uh-huh. woman. She comes, <laughs> she comes in, cutting a problem about how no woman could defeat her, no one could beat her. And then Red Velvet shows up, who I really 
Very, I'm very strongly attracted to Red Velvet, man. But she, do you know what? There's something about her that you're she's just like, beautiful. Wow. She's gorgeous. And she's a good she's with, who's she? She's with, um, what's his name? What's his name, son? She's, she's getting married to uh, Gerald Briscoe's son. You know Wild. that? Wild. Hey, you know that? Briscoe's son is marrying a black woman. That's good to see. We and love uh, that. And uh, Brian Cage had a great match with Darby Allen. Darby Allen does all these crazy mankind spots where he eventually he's going to get himself killed. And Sting comes to save the day. And there we go. What do you think about Sting's return to AEW? Why uh, AEW? Not on it. It's, it's nice to see Sting. It's always nice to see Sting. But what can he really do? Like, he could probably have one or two matches, realistically. Mm. Mm. And it'll have to be with probably somebody that's not... I guess he can work with somebody younger that can make him look good, but he can't do any crazy bumps. You know what I mean? He can't. We saw what happened when he tried it with Seth. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. What do you think about this inter-promotion thing, though? Do you think that, like, how far will it go? Well, apart from the NWO original storyline angle, America doesn't really have a good track record of invasion stories. Mm. I mean, ECW did a few good stints and Smoky Mountain did a few good stints and NWA had a little thing with um, World Class Championship Wrestling back in the day. But in terms of like a long-term program, they haven't really had a good track record. Part of the NWO stuff. Even the NWO stuff is just WWE. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I tend not to get excited about Invasion Angles. And oh. the last time I did get excited about Invasion Angle was the Invasion Angle in WWE. And that we all know how that ended. Mm. So I think since then, I've just been like, yeah. You know what? Do you know what though? See the invasion angle, yeah. I know a lot of people talk a lot of bad stuff about the invasion angle, but while you were lived in it, it was exciting. Oh yeah. Because well, when you yeah. look back, you're like, yeah, that was shit. That was right. what, what, like, week to week, you was like, yo, <laughs> these men are on WWE now. Like you were gassed. Yeah, of course. And you yeah. know, because you also thought they were doing a slow, they were doing a slow, slow burn. Build, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they're gonna actually eventually have the Goldbergs and the Stings and the NWOs. But they all came, a lot of them came a year later. And the invasion angle was done. <laughs> done, it, finished. They, they, they literally could have just taken their time and really built it up. Yeah. They really could have yeah. literally done that, but they didn't, they just rushed it. Spunk and then, their load. The best thing about that whole invasion angle was RVD smashing it. Uh, week in, week out, RVD was amazing. And Stone Cold, even though his heel thing was a bit weird, Stone Cold was actually hilarious as a heel. It's mm. fucking funny. Speaking of RVD, I don't even know if this is relevant, but um, UFC have now allowed fires to smoke weed like weed will not be included in the drugs test should wwe or have wwe <laughs> been allowing <laughs> allowing their wrestlers to be sm- to smoke weed i mean oh, it's a pandemic you know you gotta allow that- them to- <laughs> <laughs> for real boy that riddle that riddle is high every like, week all, surely. all the time matt riddle is high we didn't talk about Matt Riddle, actually. What is the real side effects of weed? Is it, guess, just, is it just a case that it's a gateway drug that can lead you onto other substances? I, I, d- I don't believe that. I, I don't what, know what, that. What is the reason why people been has been arrested and incarcerated for all these years? Exactly. Oh. Every state, most, I shouldn't say every state, but like, a lot of the big states in America now, they just, New York's about to make le- uh, weed legal. Yeah. And there's people in jail for weed. It makes no sense. No sense at all. So, so it's been criminalized and demonized all this time. Yeah. And it never really, it couldn't never really do anything harmful to you. That no, it makes you tired, sleepy, hungry. That's it. That's it, it can it can affect some people. It can affect some people's uh, mental health. Uh, that but same way, but same way alcohol and, and cigarettes can affect. One hundred percent. Alcohol is worse than. Of course it is. Of course alcohol is worse. One hundred percent. Did you read that? Uh, Mike Tyson said that he smoked weed before he fought. <laughs> Wait, Joe, you do that? No, that is rude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that fight was that fight was good, man. It was good, but imagine him saying like, "No, no, I smoke weed." Like, so I can't he wasn't even on the floor, man. You battered me, like my ribs. Did you see him? He was hurt when he was trying to talk. He was hurt. Uh, That's a wonder. Hurt. I don't know how he didn't win. I don't know how he didn't get the, the, the decision. To win. Well, no, they said there wasn't going to be a winner. Oh. That was like a part of the big thing at the beginning. Was like, look, well, there's not going to be no winner. It, there's no, no knockouts, no winner. It's just an exhibition. That man are class though, but do you see how Roy Jones is moving? It's like, I was like, right, this guy's still got moves like that. Mm, mm, Mad. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, this has been fun. Again, we got to keep doing this, guys. Yeah, man. It's so good to do this with you guys. Definitely. Yeah, man. Well, we're like a couple of weeks away from Royal Rumble. So we should Love definitely do a pre-Rumble show. Well, let's, let's, let, yeah, let's do, let's do one next week with Flu. And get the yep. on and then we can do, and, and then if, and then we'll do one before Rumble and then we do one after Rumble. And, definitely. And hopefully we can drop the Drew McIntyre interview that you had. Yes. I feel like I've got oh I got a Sasha Banks as well. I got a Sasha Banks interview as well. So we've got what? Sasha Banks, we've got Drew McIntyre. Um this the Sasha Banks interview was literally just before Mandalorian dropped. So we kind of speak a little bit about Mandalorian and um what other Marvel characters she'd like to I shouldn't say other because Mandalorian isn't Marvel, but she speaks about what Marvel characters she would like to play, which is fun. So yeah, make sure um we'll do, we'll put Sasha Banks in next week, actually. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, thanks guys for locking in. And again, sorry for leaving you so long. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, great, great to be on the show with you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you yeah, guys. Let's do this. Ace. Ace. Ace.